I'm still haunted too by my own link with what happened at Grenfell Tower. On the 20th of April this year, I was involved with Bill Gates in judging a school's debate, a competition in London. It was the final of a countrywide championship organized by the charity Debate Mate. That's an organization that does fantastic work democratizing that skill so often associated with the elite, public speaking. I was there to judge the best floor speech. I had little difficulty in deciding. The winner, Ferdows Kedir, remarkably poised, hijab-wearing 12-year-old from West London. She was confident. She used language beautifully. Bill Gates grasped her hand and gave her the award. On the 19th of June, a mere two months later, reporting from Grenfell, I spotted a picture of Ferdows on a missing poster. She and her entire family of five are believed to have been incinerated together on the 22nd floor of Grenfell Tower. Two weeks ago, it was confirmed that remnants of Ferdows and her father had indeed been found in their flat and that their identities had been confirmed using DNA. Ferdows had been described as the most intelligent, wise, eloquent girl. I was fortunate to witness that firsthand and since then I often think, what might have she become? What were her life chances once she'd been picked out in this way? Could she have prevailed over the fractures in our society and succeeded? Britain is not alone in this. Our organic links with our own society are badly broken, in part because the echelons from which our media is drawn do not, for the most part, fully reflect the population amongst whom we live and to whom we seek to transmit information and ideas. Grenfell speaks to us all about our own lack of diversity, and capacity to reach into the swathes of Western society with whom we have no connection. Like my fellow journalists, I have spent many hours around Grenfell. I've come to know a number of the survivors, and I speak to them regularly by phone or email. So casually written off as nameless migrants, scroungers, illegals, and the rest. Actually, and it should be no shock to us, the tower was full of talent, not least the wonderful and talented Khadija Sayyid, who died with her mother on the verge of a major breakthrough as an artist. Or community leaders like Eddie Dufan, who survived the inferno, but who wrote that warning blog on October the 20th, 2016. We, the media, report the lack of diversity in other walks of life, but our own record is nothing like good enough.